Hi everyone, Sam here from Sham, and as I said last week, I was going to talk about my figurines today. Um, this video is going to be shaky as hell, I've broke my tripod, like an idiot. So, um, I'm kind of standing in front of my figurine collection now, so I'm just going to turn the camera around and let you have a ganders and see what exactly it is I have, and I'm going to discuss while I'm doing it exactly what it is I collect, why I collect it, and shit like that. Ooh, right. Oh, there's Bandit. Yeah, hi buddy. Hey. Your daddy's talking to camera. Whoa. Top shelf. We basically have uh, my SH Figure Arts figures. These are my Dragon Ball Z ones. Um, I really like them. I, I do quite like how they pose. They come with different heads, different hands, different positions. That's just a wee statuette of Vegeta there that I have. I do quite like him, um, but he doesn't pose or anything. Uh, it's my Super Saiyan Trunks. Again, he came with his sword and his little sword holder. Um, he came with his regular sort of bluish hair as well as the Super Saiyan hair, which is quite cool. Um, he obviously can pose and stuff like that. He's got really nice knee joints though, um, so he can bend his knees in two different ways. Whereas, for example, my Gohan, my Piccolo, and my Goku can only move in one position with their legs, they can only bend it one way. Um, this is my Super Saiyan Goku. Um, the colours on these are really, really nice, as well as the articulation in the actual knee joints and stuff like that. Yes, hello, son. Such a good boy. Um, and I've got a little Poir statue there that a friend gave to me, and he stands on his own. I do have a set of Dragon Balls as well. I have a whole collection of them, but I haven't... Why are you there? This is where Bandit likes to sit. Yeah, hi, dude. He likes to sit on my shoulder. So I might as well have this video with him with me. So we have, as I said, we have all these wee bits and pieces just on the Dragon Ball section. Um, I only collect the SH Figure Arts ones, um, purely because I quite like how the, how the, how the colours sit on them. They're just really, really nice figures, you know, that they pose nice. I do like having the extra bits and pieces. Oh my god, Bandit. Really, mate? Really? Oh my god. So, yeah, I have um, a bit of a like to these particular ones. Um, purely because they have extra bits. Um, I do like being able to pose them. Purely because I do take pictures of them. I, I take my SLR out with them and I take them outside and I pose them. And I've got different stands and stuff like that. I have the stand that sort of lets them uh, fly and shit like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yes, yeah, so just the Dragon Ball ones. I do have more in my wish list. Which kind of looks a bit awful at the minute. Uh, it's just because it's just full of toys and shit. Um, my Dragon Balls are down there in the middle of my games collection. Um, I just can't uh, get them displayed at the moment. I don't have any of the wee yam egg holders. So now we're going to go to the shelf above. And this is my Zelda shelf. As you can see it's purely got uh, links and different statues on there. So we'll start with this side. Uh, we have the little Nendroids here. I do have the Breath of the Wild Nendroid on pre-order. The deluxe version. So whenever it comes I'll do a nice wee unboxing and review of that. Because um, it is a, it's going to be a really nice figure. Uh, so we've got a little Nendroid Toon Link there. He came with the one sword, the Wind Wigger. Um, I think it's three different heads. It's wee shield there with all the nice... So yeah, he came with all those nice wee bits and pieces. Um, which I really like. So yeah, he was he was a really nice boy. Um, the, if you buy the Zelda, the Princess Zelda from Wind Wigger... Um, she has the Master Sword and the Mirror Shield, but she's currently sold out everywhere. And if she, if you can get it, she's really pricey. Money that I just don't have right now. So yeah, just nice to be close up on his head. Whoa. Then we have my Majora's Mask Link. He's probably my favourite Nendroid, purely because he was articulated really, really nice. You can see all the detail on his little shirt there. His sword, his shield's really nice too. Um, he came with the bunny hood, um, the little, a little red potion bottle. Um, and tat out the fairy. Um, it didn't come with tail though. Um, obviously the tail one was part of the skull kid. Um, he came with this beautiful Majora's mask, which um, which he which this Link figure can wear. And um, he comes with a little stand that sits just in here, and just, just underneath his hair that allows the mask to protrude out a little bit and sit on his face really nice. He's um, his little hood's actually really long as well, and it kind of tips off. Whereas the Wind Waker one's really quite short, much like in the actual games themselves. Um, this Nendroid isn't the deluxe, um, it's just the standard, um, but I was really happy with it. It came with quite a number of faces, a number of little accessories that I, I actually wasn't expecting to have. Um, so yeah, that's that's the nice 
little nandroidy ones there. We've seen the nice Majora's Mask. It's beautifully painted. Really, really bright and colourful. Um, I do have the Majora's Mask 3D statue, which is really nice, really nicely painted. I would have liked the um, the sort of tunic that he wears to be more brown, um, but that's just me being picky and fussy as it is more brown in the game. But the actual Majora's Mask itself is painted really, really nice there. Um, really nice details on it. Just a, just a genuinely a very nice little statue, um, which I wasn't expecting to ever get. Um, it just happened to come on Amazon one day, really cheap, so I kind of had to have it. And I have these little bits and pieces here. And obviously you've got the pot, the potion bottle, a little crab thing, and a rupee. Um, those are really nice. They came with, the potion bottle came with the Nendroid um, Majora's Mask. The rest of them came with my Figma Link Between Worlds figure, which I'm going to show you in a second. Um, that was a really, really cool little set. Um, the, the Figma um, of my Link Between Worlds was the Deluxe Edition. So I did get quite a number of extra pieces with it. Although when it arrived, it had some missing because I got done at customs, which was kind of annoying. But that's neither here nor there. So yeah, those are the nice little bits and pieces that came extra. I just wanted to display them because they're nice. This is a lovely little glass um, that my friend bought me for Christmas. A little Wind Waker glass. I refuse to drink out of it because it is just so nice. That's a, it makes for a lovely little display piece, so I won't touch that one um, other than to turn it around every now and again, but it is a really, really lovely glass. Uh, beautifully done, like paint it in the, the um, what am I looking for? Paint it in the stained glass window effect, which is really lovely, and it worked really well considering it had uh, stained glass windows in the original game as well. Keep on with Wind Waker though, I do have the Ganondorf statue from Wind Waker HD. Um, he was a a bit of a bitch to buy because um, he was a pre-order only and um, I got my boss at the time to go and pre-order the game even though I didn't have a Wii U at the time um, I wanted the, I wanted this statue so bad and I, I made him go and pre-order the game and I paid a little over the odds for this statue but he is lovely he does come with these little glass uh, dome that kind of sits on top of him to keep him enclosed if you will but I quite like having him out because um, he's just nice he's just a nice figure to have um, he's a nice statue and as much as his sword is a little bent but that's how it was anyway um, whenever I got him it's just a nice statue and he is lovely he's beautifully painted um, as much as I haven't got the little lights on I wonder if I could put the light on I wonder if that makes any difference yeah you can see the painting a little better you can see you know he's been detailed at the front he's got some detail on the back um, so yeah that's that one I have this piece of heart as well. Uh, this heart container was part of my Wind Waker uh, Dendroid. And I just like having it on display because at the end of the day, the pieces of heart are a mega part of the game. And it's just nice to have. It's a nice little piece to have with the figures as well. All of them can use it and be displayed with it, which is quite nice for me because I'm sad. And this is my um, deluxe Link Between Worlds Figma. As you can see, he's, really, he's, he's actually really quite short. In comparison to my Figma Skyward Sword Link, he is a really, really short figure. He's really quite small and dainty. His hood's really, really long and really nice. Um, his Master Sword's really interesting, really well detailed as well, as well as his shield there. Um, he came with... Um, he, the bit that was missing was the little painting that he usually goes through in the walls. And the blade that allows him, you know, with that stick that he flies down on, I can't remember the name of the weapon itself, but um, those are the, the blade of that was missing, as well as the painting and the deluxe, but I do have the box of the deluxe to prove it was bought as that. Um, it does come with a claw shot and a bomb, along, uh, the claw shot is also extendable, um, it does have an extended part to it as well. It makes for a really, really nice figure, it made for some really beautiful photographs, um, which, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just a nice figure. You know, a nice, nice little set. And it came with uh, the pot there, the little crab and the rupee, and that's that one there. And the last one I've, um, in my collection currently is this beautiful Skyward Sword Figma Link. Um, this is my absolute favourite. It was the first Figma I bought. Um, as you can see, the Master Sword there is really beautifully detailed. Uh, it won't focus, but the little Master Sword's handle's been beautifully painted. It's got two different colours, um, and the shield's really nicely done as well. He comes with two faces, two different types of hair, um, the sheath to put the sword in. The only problem with that sheath though is a little stick kick kept getting embedded in Link's back, um, which subsequently it broke unfortunately, so I need to get that repaired. The hood on him is kind of long, um, it does bend around which is really nice and makes for some nice wind looking effects 
on that. So I'll put the real lip on. There we are. So that is my little Zelda shelf. I did have a lamp up in there, but it broke. So that's the Zelda shelf there. It is one of my favourites in my collection. I do really love Zelda. Zelda is my whole big thing. So I really like having them. And then Dragon Ball, I just loved the anime series. I loved the films. Um, I loved the games. So I like to collect the figures because it's part of my childhood, really. I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, that is my figurine collection. <laughs> 